Did you know air inside the cabin can be 15 times worse than air outside? That's why I dropped the top la. <laughs> but on a more serious note, today we are here to review Ta -da! the Blue Air Cabin Filter P1. Okay, let's unbox it. If you're interested in new used or recon cars, head on over to charitas.com and check them out. So it says here, removes particles and VOCs including formaldehyde. So FOC is actually volatile organic compounds which are found in our everyday products that we have at home and it releases these toxic um, particles into the air and we actually don't even know about it. Yeah, just a little FYI. Okay. And at the back, it says, yeah. Ooh, Blair Cabin's control knob provides three fan settings, clean cycle mode, and simple visual feedback, including filter change indication. Removes PM 1.0, 2.5, and 10. So, removes PM 1.0, 2.5, and 10. PM means particulate matter. 1.0 means 1.0 microns in width. Yeah, so it's 1.0 microns in width, 2.5 and 10. Most VOCs, formaldehyde, particle and carbon filter, okay? Cabin performance, car sizing, clean time, sedan, hatchback, 5 to 6 minutes, SUV, minimum 8 to 11 minutes. So I guess from my Kalisa, it is like 3 minutes. <laughs> That's all, guys. I'm gonna just... Okay, opening this up. You can see, you open here, you open here. Ooh! so many things comes with blue air filter where you put it into your power volt socket and of course access cables wires this to tie behind your car seat the air cabin filter itself wow 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 i like this this looks so good okay 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 let's set it up oh, comes with the manual also if you, you read <laughs> You should read lah, hi, you should read. I read already when I read it. Yet. Okay, so I'm just going to open it. This. Ooh, does this mean, ah, it's supposed to help with the opening, which is very good because sometimes, yeah, I'll just wreck the air filter by trying to open the plastic because, yeah, you know me. Ooh, so it opens like this. Yes, you put it in like that. Fits like a glove. Got certain way to put it in one or not? This is what happens when you don't read the manual. Ooh, but is it like this? Can be any way lah, cause it's, it's two facing down and two facing up. So it can be put any way. Replace filter every six months. So it's actually every six or twelve, six to twelve months depending on the usage. Uh, okay, it doesn't say which side up. So if it doesn't say which side up means any side up lah, right? So I'm just going to put all the word side up one. Yeah, yeah. Then, ah, that's it. Easy enough so far, easy enough. Okay, and then I guess this. Oh, rubber band is not those plastic things. As you can see, I really didn't do it before, so I'm doing it the first time with you guys. If I do it wrongly, right, y'all will judge me or not? No lah, you're very nice one, right? Y'all won't judge me. Right? <laughs> Should be lah, right? It can't be from here, but because from here, no, no, it doesn't make sense. Don't make sense. <laughs> ha, okay. Velcro. I think I put on the wrong way. Tekan? <laughs> if, but if I put like that, then... If... But... Okay, okay, okay. I think, I think I got it. You like that. Can you do this, right? I'm so boggled. Then if it's like that. Wait ah. Uh. <gasps> okay, after spending a little bit too much time, right? This is how you do it. <laughs> so, if you get it. The velcro side and all that goes down and then you put it through. So you put it through one and then you have your hooks at the back here to put it through. And then 
<laughs> I'm just laughing at how stupid I am lah, ayo. Tell me I, I stupid again. I feel like... How? I never do anything! <laughs> okay, you do that. I think you do this. Yeah, you put it through. And then you put it through one more time. The grooves make sense lah, huh? The grooves make sense. And then... You put it here. It really shouldn't be that hard. Please make sure you have an adult with you when you're doing this. It's supposed to be easy, okay? Like everything else was easy for me, this. So, so. Okay, okay. Pray to God this works. It's supposed to be very easy, okay, guys? Like, please do not use me as a benchmark. Terrible benchmark. Okay, yes, it's supposed to be like this. So after this is done, right, like I've measured and everything, took it out a bit, took it out, because you have to put this inside first. See, there's a place to chuchok and it'll tell you how. This is what I need. <laughs> yes, yes. Feeling empowered, guys, feeling empowered. Okay, I got this. I, I, I have this. I know this. Ha! Huh, finally! It's up! Okay, now to connect it to the power socket in front. So if you have like, uh, you know, the newer cars, they have power socket behind, means you don't have to lengthen this so long. But it's for cars that don't have power sockets behind, or just bigger cars that require longer cable, you have ample amount of cable. Yeah. Okay, let's go in front. For ease of movement, I have put this seat down and I'm going to start my car now. This, put it in the power socket. Ooh, okay. So, you see? Lights up. So that's working. That's how, that's like first level. Second level. Third level. Okay, I'm going to turn my aircon off. See, this is working. This is like alternating. Okay, let's put on the first level. I can hear it working. It's very quiet. Like, I can barely hear anything at all. This is the first level. Second level. You can really barely hear anything. So quiet. <sighs> okay. And the third one. Okay, so the third one you can definitely hear a lot of things going on and it's pretty noisy but the first and second one are good. So I guess if you want to like max when after like you go camping or you want to come back and then you want to remove odor and everything, then you put it on the third level. If not, you can put on the first or second level, yeah? Alright, so a little bit about Blue Air. Blue Air is actually a Sweden company and you know all the air purifiers that are inbuilt in Volvo cars? from this brand so trusted recommended and commandable 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 yeah see that i'm not sure whether the camera can capture but basically it's all the dust particles virus bacteria if there's any in your car and also harmful substances and formaldehyde which actually evaporates from like this upholstery from your car or carpets and actually harmful for our daily living so this purifies things so quiet. So just a little bit of update 
Um, I've allowed the air purifier to run in the car for about 5 to 10 minutes now and you can really smell the difference. Because before this, I used to have odour from my car mats because still new, very rubbery. But sometimes I know when you're in the car long enough, you actually acclimatise your smelling to whatever that's around you. But I actually went out and came back in and I really don't smell it anymore. Which is pretty good. I, I'm impressed. Like when I read it, like it can remove odour, I wasn't really too sure. So I was a bit sceptical but now, yeah, it's really not bad. So if you're interested to purchase this Blue Air Cabin Air Purifier, this is the P1. Its retail price is going at 1188 but if you use my promo code, BINGTRUS100, because I give 100%, sometimes 99 lah, sometimes 101%, but usually I reach about 100% lah, then you would get 100 ringgit off, okay? So it's 1088 and it comes with a free cabin air filter worth 150 ringgit and free delivery. Semenanjung saja. Sorry ya. All you East Malaysians kesian. I know the shipping is always more expensive. So ship to East Malaysia is about 25. But it's worth it because you get 100 ringgit off and you get an additional cabin filter which is 150 ringgit. So yeah, if you guys are interested, use my promo code. I'll, I'll just put more details in the link below. Big shout out to Blue Air and Auto to you.my for sending me The air purifier. Yeah, now I can inhale clean air because my police I cannot drop the top. So if I drop the top, then I don't need it. <laughs> okay, bye. Have a good day, guys.